A new twist tonight in the controversy over those cancer cases out of Colonia High School. The Brain Tumor Foundation now scrambling to find a new place to give free screenings. Our Nick Medana is live right now in Middlesex County. So Nick, the group says the town is getting in the way tonight. How so? Well, Brittany, they say by threatening the business that was set to host those screenings set to begin tomorrow, the schedule was booked for days. About 120 people were set to show up. Many of them still worried they'll be next to be diagnosed with cancer. I was really excited to hopefully, you know, get a clear scan and be able to move on and not be afraid. She's afraid even though last month the mayor and state government said a study shows no link between Colonia High School and more than 100 cases of brain cancer. Many here don't buy it, pushing for more testing. Michelle McGeehan has thought about pulling her kids out of school. She graduated from Colonia but can't get insurance to cover a screening. Doing this would hopefully allow people to find out before they started having symptoms before they started to have it be too late. The testing machines are already in place tonight. This dance studio offered to host the screenings, but the town shut it down because the business needs a permit. But Joy Catrone says officials showed up today making other threats as well. And I was in violation of barbecuing in my parking lot the other night for my team. And she would be fined. A spokesperson for the mayor says that never happened but also told us they do need a permit, which could take weeks. I think that they're just trying to intimidate us and scare us. The Brain Tumor Foundation is now moving the event out of concern for the dance studio. We are somewhat disappointed that we're getting this reaction in Woodbridge, that uh, our hosts are, are feeling threatened. She says they don't want to aggravate. Their focus is research and helping save lives. What's unique about Woodbridge is that the numbers of primary brain tumors in that small of a population is highly unusual. A spokesperson for the mayor, Brittany, says the mayor has no position on whether or not these screenings should go forward. This is strictly about the permit. At last check, the schedule was canceled for tomorrow, and the foundation, Brittany, is still looking for a place to hold those screenings. All right, Nick, we'll see what happens next. Thank you.